Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Today we enter into the holiest week of the year, which we call Holy Week. Today is called Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday. Father Rico, why does this name seem odd to us? Why, why not just look at Good Friday and hear the passion of Jesus? Why is today even called Passion Sunday? When we go to church, why is the Mass structured a little bit different? Friends, we're going to talk about this. So first and foremost, Palm or Passion Sunday has a deep tradition in our church to remind us first and foremost of Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem and how palm branches were placed at his feet. This is a expression of the scriptures coming to life. The scriptures are fulfilled. Everything that the priests and prophets have suggested that the Messiah would come and bring deliverance to his people is fulfilled in the person of Jesus. So, Palm Sunday. When the Mass begins, the Mass is to begin in a different way than every other Mass. The priest takes a different position, not at the presiding chair at the front of the church, or behind the altar if he chooses to, but rather at a place outside of the sanctuary as we begin this Mass in a different way. This Mass begins with a special gospel. The gospel is, depending on the year that we're in, and this year we will hear from St. Matthew's Gospel, in which Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem is proclaimed. He first prepares his disciples, and then we hear of his entrance and how the people said, Hosanna to the Son of David, again fulfilling the scriptures once foretold. Jesus is the Son of David and the lineage of David. And how, as he rode in on a donkey, once again signifying humility, where he could have rode in on a horse, an elephant, a camel, or another prestigious animal, Jesus continues like he was born in Bethlehem to be humble. And so the priest will then bless your palms, friends, as you attend Mass. Or if you've already attended Mass, then you know this took place. The reason why? To remind us that the palm branches, which we are to place within our homes, remind us that we are to be Hosanna people, that we welcome the Son of David into our hearts, into our minds, into our souls, and into our homes. I love placing my palm branch in my office so that all who come to see me are reminded that we are to be a Hosanna people. You are invited to take your palm branch from last year and bring it to your parish so that they can be burned and turned into ashes for next Lent. After the branches are blessed, then another particular prayer is said, and then a formal procession begins. This procession, once again, is to model itself after Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem, which is why we have a formal procession at every single Mass, that Jesus is alive and part of our lives. Hosanna to the Son of David. As the Mass continues on, the second gospel that is used speaks of the passion of Jesus from the time of his arrest through to his death on the cross for us. Why not only read this on Good Friday? Why do we read it today as well? Or friends, the passion of Jesus should not just be something that we focus on one day out of the year. This is not just a saint's feast day or a minor celebration of our church. This is massive. The Savior of the world died on the cross for us, friends. And so 
on Palm Sunday, depending on the year we are, year A, B, or C, year A, Matthew's Gospel, year B, Mark's Gospel, year C, Luke's Gospel, we hear from one of the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the account of how Jesus was a willing participant in his own execution to reserve a place for us in heaven, to allow us to be freed from our sin, and to absolutely show the world that he is the Savior, the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, and the King of Kings. Jesus willingly dies on the cross to fulfill the scriptures and to pay the price for my sins and yours. The church invites us to enter into this Holy Week to focus on the Paschal mystery, the suffering, death, and rising of Jesus. This is to be our focus. It's a retreat within the retreat of Lent, so to speak. And this week, from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday, is a time of great solemnity for us to truly focus on what Jesus has done for us. And that's why we leave the Mass in silence, to enter into the silence of Holy Week, to enter into this idea of the suffering of Jesus and the solemnness that we are invited to participate in. I strongly encourage you to make this week different than the other 51 weeks of the year. I know in my own life, I'll ensure that I don't listen to music outside of liturgical music at Mass. I keep my radio turned off. That awkwardness of the silence helps to remind me of the importance to enter into extra prayer. The solitude that Jesus felt while he was arrested. The fact that he was alone before Pilate. Alone in the Garden of Gethsemane. Alone in his suffering, to help us to grow into that silence and appreciate the great gift that the silence brings to us. So on your way to work, okay, listen to my daily podcast. But then after that, turn the radio off. No Apple Music. Be great if you can abstain from the television or other distractions. Why not enter into extra time in prayer? Perhaps studying the daily scriptures, an extra rosary or divine mercy chaplet, or another devotion. Perhaps you can make an extra effort to attend Mass throughout the week, especially from Holy Thursday through the Easter Vigil on Saturday. A great reminder to us of everything that Jesus has done, he did for you, my dear brother and sister. May we enter into this week of gratitude and realize that indeed this should be called Palm and Passion Sunday. For as our hosannas turn to crucify him, Jesus still showers us with his love. And so as we long to move from crucify him back to hosanna, may we recognize that the God who loves us beyond our understanding welcomes us to enter into the beauty of the mystery, and the joy of this Paschal mystery. Lord, be with us as we enter into Holy Week. We thank you for your great sacrifice. We are sorry for the times where we all crucify him instead of Hosanna. Help us to be Hosanna people, O God. Help us to enter into this most sacred week of weeks. For God's playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks and God bless.